Hey everyone, DFA here. Welcome back to the channel. And yeah, I'm continuing the series on the ships I regret buying with a cruiser this time, Carno. And you might be thinking that, yeah, <laughs> I keep buying crappy ships, but yeah. No, no, no. I, I, I'm also buying good ones, but yeah, the, this series is uh, it's, it's kind of, you know, men as, as a trigger warning for some of you. And yeah. Um, Let's take a look at why I think Carno was actually, yeah, it's sad because it's a really beautiful ship when you look at it, but yeah, it's also very, very tricky to play. Let's take a look at the stats, if we can find some things there. And there we have Carno next to a couple of other comparable tier 9 heavy cruisers or super cruisers. So hit points actually pretty good, but it's also pretty misleading. It's a bit like Brest and Marseille. Uh, yeah, they melt very, very quickly quickly the ship takes a lot of punishment for from everything uh, so that's very tricky gets a decent amount of concealment not something you want to improve but what you really want to improve it's your traverse instead because it's <laughs> the worst at the tier 13 point and the rest of the mobility stats are actually pretty pretty good uh, for a heavy cruiser the speed is excellent you get an engine accelerator as well traverse speed is also very very good for a heavy cruisers and then we can actually talk about the main feature of of every heavy cruiser, the guns 10 305 millimeter gun. That's actually pretty nice. Um, range pretty good as well, 13 kilometers. You get a scout plane. I'm not a big fan of the scout plane to be honest, but yeah, it can improve your range a little bit. Um, where, where I think Carnot is starting to show uh, some problems, uh, it, it, decent DPM, you know, 53,000 for AP, it's, it's on par with most of the others, but the others, they all have some kind of um, improvement to DPM, either in the form of precise aiming or rapid reload, and Carnot does not get that, and that's a major issue, uh, because as a heavy cruiser, you, you really have to pick your fights and you, you typically you're not looking at a super, super big target like battleships all the time. You're meant to be fighting light cruisers and other heavy cruisers and and you really, really need as much accuracy as possible um, and, and you, you're not really getting that way with that thing. So it's a bit tricky from that perspective. Uh, it's also not really a brawler because the secondary is DPM not really there. Uh, they got buffed recently. Um, but yeah, um, not to the point where they're actually a viable option, I'm afraid, and no torpedoes. So any DD that gets close to you, yeah, you don't have any sonar or radar either, so any DD that gets close to you is going to <laughs> destroy you very easily. Uh, and then finally the AA, you also see the food, you do get some small caliber AA and you get AA too, but yeah, that's really not enough to be deterring CVs, I'm afraid. So yeah, uh, Carno, uh, pretty big target, pretty big damage piñata, and yeah, let's see what the gameplay looks like. And so yes, back to the gameplay, and it's still a beautiful ship, um, which it's also a heavy cruiser, and as such, yeah, it suffers from all the limitations of heavy cruisers. I, I really think that there are only few heavy cruisers that are really worth playing in the game. Uh, and, and honestly, this is not one of them. You have to be super, super passive. You see me not using my, my speed. I'm really, really uh, sticking with the Friedrich der Grosse because I do not want to go frontline with that thing. <laughs> Otherwise, my life will be short and my end will be swift and brutal. <laughs> so yeah, but essentially what you want to do with that thing is really uh, try to, to find the other cruisers on the team and focus on them or double team enemy battleships. You never ever want to go 1v1 at any distance against an enemy battleship with it uh, because it is not going to end up favorably for you and yeah it's it's kind of the issue with it uh, you know the scout plane i'm not a fan of it i'm really not a fan of the scout plane i really think that that, that ship for all it, the buff it received it should have received a rapid reload or a precise i think that would have made it actually pretty good but it's not the case and yeah you see me following the heavy cruiser playbook there and trying to pick fights with the ship that i am supposed to be hunting like that chapaya uh, unfortunately for the the Carnot, yeah, it's, um, yeah, my aim was not great on this one, but it's it's kind of caught bet between a rock and a place, because you really suck against destroyers. 
you're, you're not great. You don't have any sonar, don't have any radar, you don't have anything that can improve your accuracy when you really need it, you know, when those destroyers are showing you a really nice broadside. Uh, so yeah, um, that's not great for you. Against battleships, you don't really have the accuracy. Yeah, you see that. Let's see how much, how many hits we can get on that uh, Baltimore. That's actually, yeah, you see. Um, I'm, I'm feeling that I'm kind of killing more fish than, <laughs> than hurting enemy ships at this stage in that game. Um, yeah, so against battleships, you really have to double team. You, you cannot take any initiative there because you're gonna get deleted. Uh, Concealment, it's not going to save you because again, you do not have anything to improve your burst damage with that thing. So as soon as you're detected, you're a huge target and obviously um, you're kind of stuck uh, against other cruisers. And yeah, that's what you see me do here. Uh, I've kind of found where every ship was located on the um, in the battle. So the battleships are not looking at me. They have other things to address. And you see me actually being aggressive towards that Baltimore and that Shapayev. Uh, I'm <laughs> I'm not super successful, <laughs> and honestly, uh, they make it easy for me because they're, uh, I cannot say that they're making a lot of efforts to dodge. But yeah, it's yeah, it's just what the nature of that ship is. It's it's really what that ship is. Uh, at those ranges, I should be trashing them uh, absolutely easily, but that's really not the case. Yeah. Um, what you have to use with it, you really have to use your speed to get into nice positions and uh, exploit opportunities. So if you look at the left, uh, an enemy battleship is, is f f flanking, I have no idea what he's doing there. Uh, the other one is busy with one of my battleships and that gives me an ideal situation where I am against the enemy CV at Shapayev Nibuki. But if you paid attention to what happened over the last seconds, my health went from <laughs> almost everything to almost nothing. And it took uh, a really short amount of time, so yeah. So yeah, it really feels a bit like Marseille with regards to that. Uh, unfortunately, what is not going to take a short amount of time is me getting rid of that CV because yeah, I'm really well positioned. I'm, I'm protected from the cruisers that I'm supposed to be hunting, bow tanking to the battleship that's supposed to be hunting me. So I should be able to make short work of that CV, but no, it is going to take me forever for me to delete it simply because again, no precise aim, no rapid reload. No torpedoes or anything, no incentive to get any closer. So yeah, uh, that's it. <laughs> kind of sums up Carnot in a nutshell. Uh, <laughs> super fragile and the damage output is simply not on par with the risks you have to take to make it work. So let's bring the ratings for Carnot. And unsurprisingly for a ship I regret buying, the ratings are not good. Uh, is it fun? Not really. Uh, honestly, the super mobile, super aggressive French playstyle, yeah, it's not really with that ship that you're going to play it. Uh, beginner friendly, absolutely not. Make one mistake and you go down. Free to play friendly, not that much actually, because yeah, it... it Commander skills are pretty agnostic, but it's a tier 9 premium with tier 9 premium prices. Uh, and practically you still need camo, you still need premium uh, consumables to actually survive a lot longer. So yeah, if, if I hadn't been using that, I would have been killed a long time ago there. So yeah, um, overall rating 2 stars out of 5 and that's actually pretty generous. Yeah, um, Honestly, if you're looking for a high mobility uh, burst damage uh, heavy French cruiser, look no further than Henri at tier 10. Uh, that's a really, really brilliant ship. Not always easy to make it work, but very rewarding when you do that thing. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not even a good copy, to be honest. So in terms of level of crappiness, it's probably closer to the Marseille line than to the Marseille line than to the Henri line, and that's where I will actually leave Carnot. Uh, next stop on the ship I regret buying series, a ship I actually recommended not so long ago. <laughs> Let's see where it takes us. Bye bye.